Okay guys, how you doing out there? My name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Crystal Age Technology Projection Screens using Smart Technology Gain. Yes, I knew the last video I just did was supposed to be my last, but I forgot to add in a few things for you guys. All right, so um, what I want to explain to you guys is a little bit more of an update on the 239.1. These will be the um, the blackout cloth that we are, we do have available on the website right now on the Fusion Silver Crystal Vision website. They are available now. Sorry, we don't have any pictures on the actual product. Um, that will be coming soon. I am in the process of us constructing a large frame in 239.1, and we'll show you how to build and design the frame. Also, too, um, with the blackout cloth, it will be cut to size two inches larger than the average size because you need enough to actually wrap the frame, so it's going to be two inches larger. Now, I'll have the measurements of the screens at the bottom of the comment section or in the uh, video description area so you can see exactly um, what sizes we have and this, which we have to cut. Uh, actually the size that the screen's coming. Now mind you, the screens will come in 100 inch, 120, 150 inch. Now, with this screen, for those of you that are saying, hey, guess what, I don't have a 239.1 lens on my projector. Well, we're gonna do this for you. We're gonna give you the lens for free. This is the lens right here. Now mind you, this is a lens uh, for a camera lens, camera wide angle lens. And you can get this on Amazon if you want for around $30. But we give it to you free with the kit because if you're going to be building your screen, you're going to need the lens, you're going to need the screen. And on top of that, you're going to need a screen with outstanding performance. Um, I can show you demonstrations. Actually, I posted the comments section. I'll show you the Fusion Black's amazing contrast capability. And I'll show you a demonstration of our Fusion Silver uh, actually uh, taking on a... Um, a uh, supernova this is their blade screen at four thousand mine it's a four thousand dollar screen and you're getting this in 239.1 you can get this in 150 inch and it'll still be cheaper than four thousand dollars all right so this is the lens that comes with your um your kit uh the kit will also too come with free neon lights and also too with free worldwide shipping so i'm going to show you how this works now mind this won't screw on to your the front of your projector it'll just set in front of it this is a do-it-yourself kit so you'll have to build a contraption to get it to actually connect to your projector but i just lean mine against it and i'm done all right so um let's have a look here so we'll put the camera down as you can see you see nothing here and you see nothing on this side. There's a laptop here and you see nothing on here. Let's move this over. I just want to give you the full effect. All right, so you see nothing here, here, and here. Now, this is what it would look like if you had your projector and you're looking at your screen. Now, once I take the lens and I stick it in front, look how much you're able to see. You can see the laptop. You can see majority of the screen. And you can see the cardboard debris I have right over there and up there, up in the uh, top of the screen. Now, move this away. You don't see it. Again, what this does, it expands the uh, image on your projector and gives you that anamorphic look to it, the 239.1. That's what it does. You see so much more with it. Now, you see, you can't see there's a staircase over there, but with the lens, boom, this is what you see right there. Now, it gives you a better idea, better effect, because like I said, you're probably scratching and saying, well, I want to see this on a projector. What would this look like on a projector? All right, we have our projector right here. I'm going to come over here, I can do this with lights on, lights off, doesn't make a difference, but you want to see the full effect. So there is the screen right there, mind you, this is a customer's screen right here, this is the Fusion Silver 120 and 169. this is his screen right here. We always test our screens uh, before we uh, launch them out the door, but look how beautiful his screen looks, absolutely gorgeous. Now, I'm going to take the, uh, let me turn the lights on for this first for you guys, should have did that first. So I'll take my lens right here. I'm just going to stick it up in front like this front of my projector. Mind you, I don't know if I said this already, but you have to use this with a um, with a short throw. I mean, sorry, not short throw, long throw projector only. They do not work with short throws. Now, mind you, we just had the center piece right here. When I turn out the lights, the screen has expanded from here all the way over to there. Let me get a better image so you guys can see it's a little better. Something of a better image. Let me make that from there to there. Nah, that should work. All right. Okay. Let me back up here. So check it out. So you can see the image has expanded from way over here to way over here. It's expanded. It even gotten higher too. So yeah, it's expanded all the way over. All right. Let's come over here and let's grab something else. I have some pictures on here, but I want to get something that's actually going to show a little bit more color to it so you can see it. Come on. 
from both sides. All right, here we go. This is better. All right, so you see that the image has expanded out. Make sure I get this all the way over the lens. There you go. So you can see where it will expand the lens. Sorry about that. I need to have this prop like right up against here, but I don't have it propped up there correctly. All right, so you can see where it has expanded past the uh, past the screen. So that's what I wanted to point out to you and show you that the lens will expand the image on your um, on your uh, on your uh, on your. Oh, this would have worked perfectly. I don't know why I didn't do this. Do. All right, here we go. Sorry about that. <laughs> Could I just use my freaking uh, on my wallpaper? All right, so there you see. See how it expanded? So over here, come over on this end. You can see where the screen is all the way right here. There's a blackout cloth right there. It stops right there. It's all the way over here. And then on the far end, way over there, it stretches over. So it actually stretches your screen into a 239.1. All right. So, okay, let's turn the lights on. All right. Okay, so that gives you an idea exactly, you know, what it does. All right, so let me come over here and grab my, I was watching a demonstration over here. Um, do, 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 let's blow this up. Okay, and let's start it. There we go. So, move this out of the way and put this there. So, yeah. So, you got a good idea exactly how it works. So basically, it's an all-do-it-yourself kit, the lens and everything. So you build a contraption for it to lean against your for your projector, and that's it. And that'll give you the widescreen. So you got a chance to see what it looks like um, with the um, on the on the camera uh, camera um, camera I'm using right now, my camera. Excuse me, on my camera, you get a chance to see exactly how the, the image spans out. And then I put it against the projector to give you a roughly an idea of exactly how it works. But yes, that's the 239.1 kit. Now, something else, too, I want to add in here really quick. Um, I want to talk about fusions. Now, um, one of the things that I bought it many times, not many times, but in one a conversation, I was talking about how our screens are different from everyday screens when it comes to fusion because the fusion screen is a form of rolled I'm well not rolled on sorry fused surface all right so I'm going to show you this really quick let's just start anyway it doesn't make a difference I'm going to skip this or whatever all right there we go all right so there's the screen right there just want to show you with the lights on and everything so this right here, this is the customer's 120 inch 169. All right, so let me get back to what I was talking about. We're talking about fusion versus roll on. Now we have crystal edge technology screens. Um, we give you the blackout cloth and you basically paint it on your screen yourself. Um, that is different from a fusion screen. A fusion screen is different from a roll. It's funny, there was a fellow who, I'm not gonna say the name, made a gesture on how you fuse the screen. He pulled out a paint roller and he took the roller and did an up and down motion like this. There's no such thing as fusion. Yeah, I think you really need to basically, you have to do your homework, people, before opening your mouth because you can embarrass yourself pretty bad. All right, so let me show you over here. We'll come over here to the table. I'm going to show you the difference between the two. This is both Fusion, this is both the uh, formula for the um, uh, uh, Fusion Silver screen. One's rolled on, one's fused. That's a fused surface right there. You see it? That's a rolled on surface. This one right here is using our customized blackout cloth. This is using PVC. I told you guys we used PVC in the past and it's a nightmare. It's an actual nightmare. So there you can see fusion, roll on. See the difference between the two? Roll on, fusion. There's a difference. A fusion surface, the, the chemical is embedded, knitted into the uh, surface. And then over here with the roll on screen, it's just a top layer. All right, so let's go upstairs and show you what happens. Now, if you decide that you want to use this screen for outdoor, and I've had someone mention one time say they're going to use it for an outdoor screen, I'm going to show you what happens when water hits this screen. All right, so we'll come upstairs. And we got our kitchen sink here. We'll throw in some water. Get the screen nice and soaking wet. All right, get it nice and soaking wet. So if you got your screen outside and all the performance of elements, it's going to rain in it. And the rain is going to come down all over your screen. And there we go. Let's get it nice and wet in there. This is some of the tests we have to do. 
get the soaker screen some water to make sure and beat the crap at them to see if these things will crack and peel on this. Okay, so that's enough right there. Roll the screen up nice and tight. Okay. All right, now over here on the table. I have one screen too. I have to clean this table now. My wife comes down and sees this. She's going to kick my butt. Have you been doing demonstrations again on the table? Yes, I have. All right, now. That's why we don't use PPC. See this? See that screen? Nothing. Absolutely freaking nothing. PVC on the other hand, if you get PVC wet, I don't care. If you get it wet, it peels. It's it's not a good surface. And on top of that, these surfaces, even if you if you paint the screen, say if you get the screen, someone ships you the screen, and they say, hey, all you got to do is paint over it. You stick this thing outside, this thing will crack and peel on you within seconds. On top of that, they don't do well when it comes to um, humidity. They don't do well in cold temperatures. And sometimes even in basic room temperature, if you got this in your home and your air conditioning is on, you'll notice that the screen will start to flake. Little areas will start to pop up on the screen. You'll see little bubbles and then the screen will start to peel. And this is what happens if this screen has any form of moisture on the screen, anything that forms on the screen, it'll automatically start to peel. And that's the difference between a roll-on screen and a fusion screen. A fusion screen is embedded into the surface. So cracking and peeling and, and different elements is not going to affect this surface. When you use uh, PVC, when you roll it on, this is what happens. And number reason, like I said, this is our this is our formula. But like I said, even on the PVC surface, this is what happens to the screen. So that's why we don't go near PVC because PVC has a problem. And this is the exact same PVC shown in some people's demonstrations right here. Same exact PVC. We tested this stuff already. We've done these tests already. And the, one of the dangerous things about this, if you're using PVC, is the fact that if you paint the screen and you roll it up. The screen will stick. When you go to pull it up, it'll rip the screen. That's another problem we had with it. But like I said, the difference between the two, this is a fusion screen. This is fused. You now people want to sit there and crack jokes about it, but it is right here. I'm showing you the demonstration right here. This is a fused surface. A fused surface, the chemical is actually embedded. It's fused. You have to have a special machine to do this. But like I said, the person did the just like, this is fusion, all you have to do is roll it on. Well, when you roll it on, this is what you get. You get a screen that will peel and crack on you if you have it in any form of element. So you have this in, the, in your home and you have it on your air conditioning, your air conditioning is on, the screen is going to develop a moisture under the surface and it's going to cause the chemical or whatever you painted on, your screen paint, to lift up and peel right off the screen. Just like that. Look how easy this is, just peel right off the screen. So we're gonna hook the camera right here. Just shoot it. Watch this. Right off. That's why we don't. That's why we don't mess with it. And this right here. This right here is a fused surface. Fused. Okay, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. I'm Kenneth Burke from Crystal Age Technology Screens using smart technology game. You know, we try to give you guys the most insight we can on our projection screens, how they're designed and you know how what they're designed to do. Um, you know, like I said, I do a lot of talking in my demonstrations, but it's important for people who watch my videos on top of it, it's the fact that I have corporations that also watch my, my demonstrations. This is how we end up with so many contracts. It's because we have companies that'll come and say, hey look, I saw your demonstration and you know we, we, we like to keep you guys informed. We don't like to hide anything from you and we show you what you see actually is what you get. So you know we're showing you why we don't use certain surfaces. So like I said, if people are using PVC and you do get it to work. Anyone's using PVC and you do get it to work, you know, hats off to you. But other than that, we know the nightmare behind PVC and we know exactly what it would do if you basically coat anything with it. It will peel and it will crack. Look at this, watch this, I'm just really quick. I can remove all this off this screen. Okay, how easy it is to get all this off here. Look at this. The screen's crackly.
There you go. That's why we don't use it. Look at this. There's your screen right there. And it doesn't make a difference if any humidity hits the screen, if the heat in your house hits this screen, if you take this thing outside and any water hits it, that's what you're going to get. There's your screen right there. Okay, guys, hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. Thank you all for watching. As I said, our Fusion Silver and Fusion Black screens are available on our website now. You guys all have a good one.